Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Madden 19 undrafted to MVP. We are on to weeks 3 and 4 of the preseason, so let's get into our first bit of training. This is easy. That vertical's concept to get to cover 3 and cover 2. Just Look, there's nobody there in that part of the field for them to cover, so that's 2 for 2. Don't see why we can't uh, continue that. There he is, Moncrief, 3 for 3. The slots are always going to be open. So cover 2. More than likely you're going to look at Thomas on the outside. Okay, that was a bad pass. Picked off. Back to cover three, which means we should have yep, Moncrief wide open again. The first down. Finish with silver, but that means that we can uh, at least skip this and get the silver XP in the future. Okay. I've got a target of 60% completions here, so I think we should still be able to do that. But. Uh, Let's get ourselves onto the field. I'm going to go with drive because should be an easy completion over the middle. But Alan Hearns. Now a first down throw. It is. Boom. Michael Thomas with a huge block on the outside, getting us 23 yards on that first play. Better than the pick six against the Bucks, I guess. I do want to hit Olsen on this, but it's not always necessarily going to be him that's open. Uh, oh, we had Thomas open deeper downfield, but uh, spotted him too late. It's like a cover six or cover nine look. So. There we go. Hearns actually makes the catch. That was a huge hit. Third and three. I'm going to take the Y stick. Ideally, I want to hit Thomas on this because Hearns should take Michael Thomas rather than. Uh, Alright, we'll get the first down anyway. There's man coverage and there's nobody covering the middle of the field, so we just about get the first down. Let's give Zeke the ball because. Again, I've got to remember that this isn't all on me. We need to use Ezekiel early and often. I mean, probably should have checked out of that because I didn't even like to see that the linebacker was going to come through. We had a lot of success with uh, throwing to Thomas from this position or from this play. Let's see whether he gets open on the outside. Oh, we'll dump it off to Elliot and hopefully he'll get. Most of it back. I think you got nine there. Z spot, but it looks like it's a cover two. Look. Or cover three. Oh, he hit Julius Thomas for a touchdown. I mean, the defender had a had a play on that ball, but Thomas managed to box him out, catch the ball. And it's Jamal Adams, who's arguably the Jets' best defender. Let's see if our defense can uh, stop the Jets. Uh, no is the question. What? Sorry, is the answer. They'll start the drive with Elliot. So that's a big hole. I would have been disappointed if he didn't make that many yards on that run. Let's see if they can stop it. We have six in the box. We have six blocking, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get something here. Why did he cut it back? But I mean, it works just as well. Looks like cover two. So I argue, well, really, one of the receivers should be open. That's cover three. We'll hit Elliot out of the backfield just to dump it off. He does all right there, to be fair. Again, six in the box, six blocking. Big hole up the middle. That's nice, 10 yards there. It looks like we have the numbers. That looks like it's going to be a blitz. Here's Romo. Oh my word! Ball got tipped. Well, I was hit as I threw, and that could quite easily have been tipped. As I said in the last 
episode. The Cowboys have always done pretty well with their screens, and uh, this is a cover three look, so maybe Elliot will get open on this. Wow, that D lineman revved that completely, but Elliot manages to make something out of it at least. I reckon Hearns or Olsen will be the guy to hit here. <laughs> they would have been if I hadn't been sacked. That makes it four down, so I assume we'll punt. We did, and apparently we got the ball back straight away. Let's see how this goes. I try to try to field goal. Jeez. Julius Thomas makes the catch again. Probably shouldn't have thrown that one. It's a bit, uh, a bit close for the defender, so uh, covering so well in this zone. Okay. Now, so he kind of gets a few there. Five for twenty-nine. That's not too bad. So that's a lovely pass with pressure all around me. Two players in my face. We hit Michael Thomas for a big game, eighteen yards and a first down. It didn't work last time. We threw a pick six with the uh, first play against the Bucks. But let's see if we can get someone open down the middle, perhaps. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should have thrown that better. That that was there. If I hit, if I hit that earlier, that's completion. Let's see how uh, Elliot does on this one. Breaks the tackle. A couple of tackles and. Only gains two, but just leveraging over five yards of the carry. It should open up some space for one of the two receivers crossing. There it is. Not enough, clearly. So we will punt again. This has been a low scoring half. We still get the ball back. I think it's leverage. Oh, the big guys up front. You know the the Elliot beat the players and well, an he takes it up to the uh, 30, 43 yard line, should I say, the six yards. Here's Romo now on second down. What? He just teleported across there. Looking at maybe the out here, uh, the deep out, should I say, from Moncrief. Oh, uh, wrong guy. Michael Gallup makes the catch, so. Oh, that was so close to being hit. He's meant to press Y, not RB there. My word, I was thinking about pick six. Right, if we take a timeout, I reckon we're going to kick a field goal. Yeah, we make it. We did. Good. But, uh, we've we run this play before, and Elliot was wide open. That's a bad throw. Really bad throw. Ten of fifteen for 127 yards. I mean, it's not too bad as of yet. Let's give Elliot a handoff here. Wow, absolutely nothing there. You want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back out and warm up to start okay. the third quarter like you would We'll hit Elliot because he's got loads of space. Makes a man miss. I think we're going to go for it, you know. It's the preseason. Does it matter? Of course it matters, but we're going to hit Elliot. Fourth down, conversion. Oh, he's fumbled it. <sighs> That's not even my fault there. <laughs> We went for it. Elliot decided to try and fight for some yardage and fumbles the ball. Oh, so disappointed. They get a field goal, but uh, we are still in the lead. Uh, I want to look at getting Elliot the ball here. Or we'll hit Thomas. Just didn't quite beat his man. Uh, or didn't quite beat the, the safety. The wheel's always good from the from the running back. Is it man? Looks like it. Elliot should come down with that. Or oh, almost. Looks like we've got Crowell in the uh, backfield this time. There he goes, Thomas. Wow. I threw that earlier. That defender just turned around and 
knocked it away. It's like, nope. Julius Thomas will hopefully be open. If not, Elliot. I think Thomas was open, but just uh, didn't didn't hit him. But we do give our field goal kicker a bit more of a chance. There we go. Can't afford to take a sack here, though, mind you. There we go. Hit Hearns quickly. Let's cover three. What? He was crawling after being blocked and then somehow jumped back up and tackled me. Well, we got some success with this play last time, hitting Thomas, but uh if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. He may try and run for the slide. I don't think there was really much on there, so if we at least if we give our punter some room, we can get rid of the ball. Great. I mean, we've actually won. Like, we didn't do particularly well the first three quarters, but it looks like Dak had actually led a, uh, a game-winning drive. So that's good. Good for him anyway. I think we did all right. We'll have a look at the stats. I mean, okay, Prescott was 50% completion, as was Sam Darnold. Let's have a look. Wow. So every quarterback threw for a touchdown. Romo and Tyra Taylor were the, uh, the starters, and they both threw for about 190 and a touchdown. Prescott and Darnold were both, both threw for 50% and a touchdown. I don't know how Prescott managed to get such a good rating. I know he threw for quite a few yards, but uh, disappointing that we didn't do more in that game. Anyway, let's get into week four of the preseason. We're now one and two in preseason, but we can upgrade our player. We're gonna upgrade strong arm by one. See what we get. Awareness, plus three. Thoraxi mid, plus one. Okay. We go into the game against the Cardinals, who are two and one. We are one and two. Let's see if we can finish the preseason at two and two at least. It's the final preseason game, and obviously I want to try and beef our stats as much as possible. We do get the ball first, which is good. I uh, obviously want to try and play as well as possible, but also need to give the ball to Elliot as much as possible as well, just to try and relieve some of that pressure off our own. Looks like cover three. It is. It's Alan Hearns open. Hearns seems to be getting open more than what Thomas does, but Thomas seems to make bigger plays, if that makes sense. This Texas player is always a good one to use. Hopefully those linebackers will be will drop off quite deep. Looks like they have. Bit of a bad placement on the ball, but Olawale makes the catch anyway. We had quite good success with this throwing to Hearns last time. Hearns is fast as well, so that's good. Hearns picking up a big game there. Ooh, looks like it's going to be man coverage. So with a bit of luck, Elliot will come open underneath. Thought I had Olsen, but clearly the uh, defender was having other ideas. They keep giving the, giving me this uh, rookie preseason one catch to throw it to one of our rookie receivers or tight ends, but he's never on the field when I'm on there, so I can't give him that. Cover four? That's not ideal, but... Uh, what? Where did he... Oh, such a bad throw. Well, we'll take a field goal on the opening drive anyway. It should be easy money. There it is. Need to get better at reading those linebackers or maybe throw a couple of touch passes in there rather than always drilling it in. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to uh. lead and play that. And he can't get rid of it. I probably had guys open. I was just looking downfield. 
nobody was getting open deep. Unfortunately, the O line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. What? Get off me. Ugh. Third and 13. Cup of three. Out of the gun. Romo. He's going to look deep down the field. Ugh. That's terrible. Deflected between two guys. Okay, this isn't going well. I need to just do what the coaches tell me. We've got one last chance before we are benched. Let's see if we can hit Elliot over the middle. We can. <coughs> Let's go hurry up as well. See if we can make the right plays and hopefully get ourselves some more scores. Or another score, at least. We'll hit Elliot again. This looks like... Man. Thomas is in press here on the right. Sorry, on the left. Can he beat it? Uh, there we go. Moncrief over the middle. That's good. Up the seam. Ideally, I want to get this ball in the end zone before I've taken out the game. Second down, a very solid gain on that play. Oh, he the he had what? And I didn't. The Looks like the backup's already in. We've only got six seconds. Is that cop? Oh, no, it's because we've not gone hurry up, so. Look at Randy on the slithery. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Terrible end to the first quarter, and... We finish the game with just three points. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But now the backups are out. We conceded a load more points. Look at that. Our defense compensated for me being on the field, but uh, we do finish 17 13 winners. So, again, Dak Prescott leading the team to a victory. Not ideal as he threw two touchdowns as well. Yeah, not the best, not the best game. But uh, so that is going to be it for episode five of Undrafted to MVP. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time.